Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this circuit, and here we have been given that all the resistors have a tolerance of plus minus five percent, and here we have been asked to find the maximum and the minimum possible values of the collector to emitter voltage. Now, if you observe the circuit, it is the emitter bias configuration or two supply emitter bias configuration of the BJT. And for this configuration, we had seen that if the value of the base resistor is very small, in that case, this base voltage VB is approximately equal to zero volt. And for that, we had seen that if the value of base resistance RB is much less than the beta plus one times this emitter resistance, in that case. We can say that this base voltage VB is approximately equal to zero volt. Now here, the value of the base resistance is equal to 10 kilo ohm, while the value of beta is equal to 200. So we can say that the approximate value of this beta plus one times RE is equal to 200 times 10 kilo ohm. That is equal to 2 mega ohm. So here, as the value of this term. Is much larger than the base resistance, so we can assume that the base voltage VB is approximately equal to zero volt. That means over here, the base voltage VB is equal to zero. And due to that, now the voltage over here will be equal to minus VB because the voltage VB can be given as voltage VB minus V. And as the voltage VB is zero, so we can say that This emitter voltage V is equal to minus V B, and the typical value of this voltage V B is equal to 0.7. That means we can say that this emitter voltage is equal to minus 0.7 volt. Also, here we are assuming that this collector current is approximately same as this emitter current, because here the value of beta is very large. That means here the value of beta is 200. So if we calculate the value of alpha. That is beta divided by beta plus one, then it is approximately equal to 0.995. And as it is close to unity, so we can say that this collector current IC, which is alpha times I, is approximately equal to emitter current. And here, this emitter current I can be given as voltage VE minus minus 12 divided by 10 kilo ohm. Now here. The value of V is equal to minus 0.7 volt, so we can say that this emitter current is equal to 12 volt minus 0.7 volt divided by 10 kilo ohm. Now here we have been given that all the resistors have a tolerance of plus minus 5 percent. So instead of writing 10 kilo ohm, let us write this emitter current as 11.3 volt divided by emitter resistance. And let's say This is the first equation, and once we know the value of this emitter current or the collector current, then we can easily find the voltage VC. So this voltage VC can be given as the collector voltage minus emitter voltage. Now here, this collector voltage VC can be given as 12 volt minus IC times RC. That means the voltage drop across this resistor. So this will be the value of the collector voltage, and the voltage emitter voltage V is equal to minus 0.7 volt. So we can say that the voltage V C is equal to 12 volt minus I C times R C minus minus of 0.7 volt. That is equal to 12.7 volt minus I C times R C. And let's say this is the second equation. Now here we have been asked to find the maximum and the minimum value of this collector to emitter voltage. So here this voltage will be maximum when these two terms are minimum, and similarly this term will be minimum when this IC and RC are maximum. That means we can say that the maximum value of this collector to emitter voltage is equal to 12.7 volt. Minus IC minimum times RC minimum, and similarly, the minimum value of this VC is equal to 12.7 volt minus 
IC max times RC max. So first of all, let us find the maximum value of this collector to emitter voltage. And for that, we need to find the minimum value of this collector current as well as this collector resistance. So here, the nominal value of this collector resistance is equal to 4.7 kilo ohm. So the minimum value of this collector resistance is equal to 4.7 kilo ohm minus 5%. That is equal to 0.95 times 4.7 kilo ohm. That is equal to 4.465 kilo ohm. Similarly, this collector current or emitter current can be given as 11.3 volt divided by emitter resistance. Now here, the nominal value of this emitter resistance is equal to 10 kilo ohm. So for the minimum value of this collector current, the value of the RE should be maximum. That means the maximum value of this emitter resistance is equal to 10 kilo ohm plus 5 percent. That is equal to 10.5 kilo ohm. So we can say that the minimum value of this collector current is equal to 11.3 volt divided by 10.5 kilo ohm. That is equal to 1.0762 milliampere. So in this way, we got the minimum value of the collector current as well as the collector resistance. And from this, we can say that the maximum value of this collector to emitter voltage is equal to 12.7 volt minus 4.465 kilo ohm times 1.0762 milliampere. That is equal to 7.89 volt. Similarly, now let us find the minimum value of this collector to emitter voltage. And for that, we need to find the maximum value of this collector resistance as well as the maximum value of the collector current. So the maximum value of this collector resistance can be given as 4.7 kilo ohm plus 5 percent. That is equal to 4.935 kilo ohm. And similarly, we also need to find the maximum value of the collector current. That is equal to 11.3 volt divided by minimum value of this emitter resistance. That means this minimum value of this emitter resistance is equal to 10 kilo ohm minus 5 percent. That is equal to 0.95 times 10 kilo. That is equal to 9.5 kilo ohm. That means the maximum value of this collector current is equal to 11.3 volt divided by 9.5 kilo ohm. That is equal to 1.189 milliampere. So in this way, we got the maximum value of the collector current as well as the collector resistance. And from this, we can say that the minimum value of this collector to emitter voltage is equal to 12.7 volt minus 4.935 kilo ohm times 1.189 milliampere. And if we calculate the value of this voltage, then it is equal to 6.83 volt. So in this way, the minimum value of this collector to emitter voltage is equal to 6.83 volt, while the maximum value of this collector to emitter voltage is equal to 7.89 volt. So this is the correct answer for the given question.